Good evening. The PIAA State Basketball Playoffs began Tuesday for the McDowell Girls and Cathedral Prep as they played in sub-regional games. We'll begin with the Ramblers as they paid a visit to Dubois in a Class 5A matchup late first half. And for Prep, Khalid Horton comes up with the steal, goes the other way and throws it down. He would finish with 11 points. Then it's Will Ennis with the drive and score plus the foul. He chipped in with nine points. Ramblers up by two at the break. On to the third quarter. Prep making a run thanks to the relentless defense. Liam Gallick comes up with the ball. He lays it in and he finished with 10 points on the evening. Ramblers up double digits at this point in the third quarter. Malachi Millsap buries the wide open three from the corner. Cathedral Prep moves on with a 47-34 victory over Dubois. Uh, defense was all today. Actually, we uh, we worked on defense the whole time today. For real. I mean, in practice, we worked on defense all week, and that was the game plan for today. Was come out to play defense and execute. Yeah, I mean, coach prepared us great all week. He told us that there were shooters coming into this game, so I mean, that was our main focus: get them uncomfortable from the jump, get hands in their faces, and hopefully that would carry us towards the end of the game. And it did. We played great defense. We stopped their threes because we knew that was their thing. We got to stop that, and since we stopped that, I feel like we did great. And then second half, I think we did ten times better. We did even better than me. Though when it came to defense. PIAA girls basketball, Class 6A sub-regional. McDowell hosting Altoona. Visitors down four midway through the fourth when Adeline Cherry drives the lane and scores at the other end of the floor. Loose ball situation, and the ball falls into the hands of Sydney Kynath as she scores. That would be the only field goal for the Trojans in that fourth quarter. Closing seconds, Altoona down five. Cherry left open, hits the three. Altoona trailing by two as she finished with 13, but with five seconds left, Jessica Hetz was clutch. Delivering on two free throws. She finished with 10 points on the evening, and McDowell survives and advances with a 38 34 victory over Altoona. Being down two, three points, it's easy to get back up, but I think McDowell really pulled together today, and we always had that little bit of lead, which I think won our game today. When it comes to us, even if we're like lacking motivation, one of our teammates helps us up, so I think uh, just motivating each other is really going to get us a long way. 